What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. For breakfast I had some food, for I had a bagel. For lunch I had a sandwich and some chips, and for dinner we had pizza. I also had a few chips before pizza. Um, I'm just hanging out today. Um, oh, and I guess after, after pizza I had a chocolate. But that was it. Um, for, 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 uh, yeah, so I woke up at around 4, 50 a.m. this morning. Um, I got to work at around 6.15 um, and I just worked. Um, my boss was still in a, for some reason, I don't, to each his own, he probably has a good reason. It's probably a lot cheaper, um, that's maybe it, but for some reason my boss, um, he lives like two hours away in like this town, right? Um, and uh, he takes these, he works 10 hour days and he takes three day weekends, right? So he works 40 hours a week. Um, and so, uh, so the thing that he does is on like his Friday, which is typically Thursday, um, and sometimes his Friday is Friday because he doesn't work on Monday, but most of the time his Friday is Thursday. Um, he, uh, I think he drives up to his town um, like that night, uh, and then first three-day weekend he stays up there, and then he drives back down the morning he is work, and he shows up a little late, but he's just, he's able to make that up, right? Um, he's able to, uh, make up the hours, right, later, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, and so, uh, this morning he showed up at around, t I, I want to say around 10 a.m., uh, typically he shows up at around 7. The, the thing that is weird is that he also has an apartment here, I think, so he stays here like throughout the like throughout the weekdays, and then he, during the weekend he like leaves. I don't really know how it works. It's I don't know. It's interesting, I guess. Um, and I'm sure it's cheaper. The cost of living is cheaper. Um, but I don't know. I'm sure the job pays a lot of money. I I I I, I don't really know how it works. Anyway, um, yeah. So. Um, Oh, maybe he's trying to buy a home. Maybe he owns his house there, and that like, it made a lot of sense to buy a house there rather than rent in in Seattle. That that makes sense. But why is he also renting here? It must be a small apartment or something. Anyway, um, yeah. So he came in at around ten. Um, typically, he doesn't want to be working on the sump while he's gone. But since he was going to be gone for a lot of the day, and the sump is the primary thing we're working on, he said it was okay for today. Just be careful. Um, which is fair. Uh, so I worked on it. I uh, found out a way to get the buckets out of the sump without the pulley system that we worked out. Uh, the pulley system takes two people, and it's a lot of effort, and it sucks. Um, and it's honestly pretty easy for both of us, um, but if I just lock in, it's hard for me, but I, I can do it just on my own. I can bring the buckets up through the sump. Uh, the thing I do is I lift the bucket onto one thing on the ladder, I walk up one on the ladder, and then I lift it onto the other thing on the ladder, and then I walk up onto the ladder, and I'm able to lift it up and swing it around the uh, the beams, um, and then it's on the wood, and then I'm just able to slide it later. Um, and it's really difficult, um, but he wasn't there, so I, I mean, it, 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 you know, we need to get the sump done, and uh, I'm pretty confident I didn't do anything like not kosher when it comes to ergonomics, um, which is something you really have to keep in mind when doing heavy lifting, but. Um, I'm pretty sure I was okay with keeping a straight back and stuff. Um, I primarily lifted with my arms and my legs. Uh, whenever, sometimes I do lift with my back and I'm like, ah, oh, gah. Um, but I feel like I am going to have way less back pain than someone who is doing this job who didn't even think about their back. You know what I mean? Um, who just lifted everything with their back. Because most of the time I'm lifting things with my legs. Even if they're small and I look stupid, um, I just go, well, like I'm a robot. Um, it's crazy, but yeah, today's the hottest day of the heat wave, um, and I haven't had my air conditioner in my room at all, so um, I'm sweating under this flannel actively. Um, according to my computer, it's 93 degrees outside. According to my phone, it's 90 degrees outside. Um, it sucks. It sucks. Uh, there's no air conditioning in Seattle, central AC, that is, no houses are built with air conditioning because it was never meant to get this hot. Um, for those of you in the UK, I've heard that um, the American city with the most similar to UK weather is, um, is Seattle. So I, it's it's like imagine imagine your weather, um, and then imagine uh, 
America uh, and then imagine uh, Seattle. That's how Seattle is. Um, something terrible. I, I, I watched, I saw this interesting Twitter thread about um, there's this sentiment going around online about British people complaining about heat waves and then you convert their Celsius degrees to uh, Fahrenheit degrees and it's like 87 degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't that high, right? Um, like, I don't know, objectively it's not that high, at least for America, right? And so people see that and they're like, well, why are they talking about this all crazy when it's only 87 degrees? Um, and, uh, you know, it, from what I saw in the Twitter thread, it seems like the UK houses are built similar to houses here, except way worse. Um, not only are they not built with AC, but a lot of them don't even have like the types of windows that we have. And a lot of them, you can't get a box fan as easy as you can here. The thing that we do here is we just put a box fan on our windowsill and we just have box fans on all of our windowsills. And there's a lot of airflow in the house. And even though it's hot, um, if you're not wearing too much, you kind of have a constant breeze on you. And so it's, you kind of can trick yourself into thinking it's cooler than it is. Um, uh, but it seems like, you know, the windows don't f facilitate the placement of box fans. Um, and you, it's kind of difficult to get box fans. Um, it seems like, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty confident there are quite a few British people who watch me, so correct me on this. Um, but if you want, I don't care. Um, but, you know. Yeah, I'm just rambling. But yeah, I did some stuff and that was pretty much it. Um, it's a very minor organization. Um, yeah, bye.